Google, what's the definition of science? Here's the definition of science. The intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. So I thought I'd do a video on the science behind Mucuna. That's Mucuna purins, um, arithmetically known as Kappa Kachu. So some of you may be thinking, what do you mean the science behind Mucuna? There isn't any science. Um, there actually is an ancient science called Ayurveda, and uh, Mucuna purins is an Ayurvedic herb. Since this herb is part of the Ayurvedic system, Western medicine really doesn't know too much about it. They don't use um, this herb. Um, but it is sort of um, gaining some popularity because it's natural levodopa. Ayurveda translated means the science of life. And it's, it's a natural holistic system. Um, and it's based upon uh, many different principles. Uh, um, the herb that everyone's been using, the Vicuna um, purins, has been used for um, centuries. And what it is, it's, it's actually a bean. And so there's some like talk about whether you should use the stem, the whole plant or the seed. Um, Ayurvedically, we usually use the seed. Um, and I've been using it now for a couple of months and it does work for me. This herb is usually, it, it is used for Parkinson's, so I don't want to sound like it's not used for Parkinson's, but it's also used for um, a lot of different things, um, and I'm going to explain what those are. In an Ayurvedic um, perspective, it's also used for rejuvenation of the re <laughs> can't say it reproductive system for men and women. So it's it's kind of got a mild popularity um, in the United States because it's known to enhance sexual stamina, stamina, and and act as a sexual st stimulant. So if you know anything about the levodopa, that kind of makes sense. With the um, Cinemat and some of the Parkinson's drugs, there is um, a, a problem where it can enhance sexual functioning. So that's kind of similar um, between the two medicines. So it definitely proves that there is levodopa in there. We also use it to tone and, and strengthen the muscle tissues, um, and also it's used to cure stiffness. It also relieves gas and abdominal distress. So that's one thing that's good about the Macuna purins. If you have a problem with um, constipation or digestion, which we often have in Parkinson's, and that's somewhat due, I believe, anyway, to the medication because um, I never really had a problem until I started taking more and more doses of the um, cinnamon. And I do find that with the mucuna that um, I don't have that problem. Right? So when we use it, we don't use it with anyone that has um, high toxins and bad congestion, meaning like congestion of the um, passages, the nasal passages, like a cold or fever, we, we don't use this, we don't recommend it. So with someone with high, high um, toxins, or um, we tend to work on, on that first, like the di digestive system, um, and then we, we use the herbs. Uh, one thing I should point out too, we don't normally use this herb on everyone. So it just, it's not going to work for everyone. It's not, it's not meant to, in our system, work for everyone. Ayurveda doesn't work like that. It works on everyone as an individual. So just because you have s such and such symptoms, and I'm not saying a disease because we don't call things d d diseases. We kind of start at the root of the problem and work on each sy symptom, and then we have our own name for things. We don't really name diseases as you know them because that is from a Western medical um, system perspective. I would not use this if you're on um, 
other medications. At least I would not recommend this, but um, there are lots of herbs that you can use with Western medicine, but I'm not licensed enough to tell you what those are even. So you would need to go to an Ayurvedic doctor.